My name is Rebecca Grace, and for those of you that are new to this channel, I am the CEO of Rebecca Grace Designs. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a video banner in Squarespace 7.1 mobile friendly. So there's a couple things you should know about video banners. Um, depending on the settings of the mobile and how old the, the mobile phone is, um, what internet they're using, that sort of stuff, um, you might not actually be able to have the video play on a mobile. There's, there's some things you can do to ensure that your uh, video itself is mobile friendly, um, such as compressing it and making sure it's not too, too big or too much um, to download. However, it also depends on the mobile device itself. And so you might find that no matter what you do, your video is not playing on a mobile device. And unfortunately, um, I haven't been able to find any sort of technique that you can do to ensure it plays on mobile. And so this is a couple ways that you can help make sure your video banner is um, going to be mobile friendly if a viewer is coming to your site from a mobile device. So the first thing you can do is actually a Squarespace setting itself. So you're gonna click edit. And in the video banner, you'll notice that there is a spot for you to place a mobile fallback image. And this is important because one, it will display this before the video loads. So if your video takes a little bit to load, it will have this image display rather than just a, a black screen or a, a color. Um, or also in a mobile device, if the video is not playing at all, then it will show this image instead. Um, so I definitely have that there in case you know, on some sort of device, the video is just unable to play. So if we flip over to the mobile view, uh, you'll see that it zooms in on your video and there's not really a way to set this height. And if even if you could find a way to set the height, what you're gonna end up having is the video taking up like half the section and your text and images just over top a um, like white screen or a colored screen, which might not look the best. Um, so in my opinion, your best option if you're finding your video is not looking good on a mobile device is to just hide the video and display an image or a color instead. And so to do that, what you're going to do is go to design, custom CSS, and copy and paste the code listed below this video. And then there's a couple things you need to do. First, you need to change out this collection ID to the ID of the page. To do this, I like to use the Squarespace Collection Block Identifier Chrome extension, which is super, super handy. Um, but if you don't have that, what you're going to do is right click and select Inspect. And I have Developer Tools turned on. And you're gonna go to the top of the page, just kind of keep scrolling up and you'll see this big block of blue. And at the very top of that, you'll see Body, ID, and then an ID here. Usually it will say collection unless this is on like a product page or a blog page and then it will say item. So you're going to want to grab that uh, collection of um, numbers and letters and you're going to replace collection ID here with hashtag and then the ID of your page. You'll then need to change this one to the section it's applying to. So in this case, it's my banner. It's the, the very first section on my page, so I have it as a one. But if yours is further down the page, you'll want to count your sections and change that here. And the last thing you'll need to do is put in the link of the image you would like it to change to. Now the image I'm using is 1,000 pixels by 1,500 pixels. I found that that size works well, um, but you're welcome to, to play with the sizing of your image. To find the image URL, what you're going to do is click on Manage Custom Files and upload or add the image you want to use. Then you're just going to delete the word image URL place your cursor between the quotation marks. Make sure you haven't deleted those quotation marks out. And then just click on the image you uploaded and it will automatically insert that image's link. And what you should see now is your video playing on desktop. But when you flick over to mobile, it will then show the image that you have uploaded. Now I have the image to have an auto width and then take up 100% of the height. If you find that that is making your image uh, zoom in funny, then you can delete this out to set an 100% of the width and then an auto height. But you'll notice what that did for me is I now have this little bit of an extra section. Um, so I have it set to um, auto width and 100% height. Um, so you'll have to play with 
uh, the background size here to make sure that it's filling up your section, but it's not stretching or um, affecting your image in any way. If you find that you're really having a hard time with that, you might need to change the ratio of your image itself. Okay. And that is how you can make sure that your um, banner is mobile friendly, um, even if your video itself is not able to play on a mobile device. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, if you're on my blog, then make sure you sign up for the freebie in my footer to be notified whenever I post a new tutorial.